Alright, what's up guys? It's Andrew with Long Range Gear. Um, here to bring you some cool, quick little tips on NV4500 shifter stuff. So we get a lot of 4500s in here. Most that we seem to come across have this uh, round top shifter. You know, it's fine. Everything it works. It's got, it seems to have a wider shift pattern and everything like that. The downside though is that they wear out right in here when the shifter like ball is inserted and under the spring tension and all the movement. Uh, the wear point is actually the top cover. You can see there's like a little beveled um, concave little section in there. All the wear from the shifter movement and the pressure is eroding the actual aluminum cover itself. When that gets out of spec or it's too sloppy or, or too far down um, and it's causing some weird shifting stuff because it's grinding your shift rail thing. You can actually convert these uh, and we do it all the time. We get these square top shifter. You can get them anywhere, you know, Transtar, Torque King, you know, TPD, all those places. You can move all the guts from here. You gotta buy a few new parts, the reverse shift rail, and then a small parts kit and uh, and stuff like that. But you can move all the guts over here so you don't have to spend what I think the last price I saw a loaded square top cover going for was something like six or eight hundred bucks or something. It's ridiculous. This is 140 bucks on the internet. So if you have one of these, it's worn out and you need a replacement, you can convert it to that. After you spend the money buying the parts to switch it over, you know, guys are like, oh, now I gotta spend, you know, 150, whatever it is for, for a new shifter. And then one of these Dodge sticks for 100 and something dollars, that Mopar knob and all that kind of stuff. It gets so expensive. Yeah, you can do that route if you want everything like straight up OEM and uh, factory spec, you know, great go to town um, but I wanted to bring a uh, an alternative these top covers were actually used on GM applications as well the problem is um, and here I have pictured a, um, a GM square top shifter uh, the problem is the thread pattern is a little different so this is actually a much wider uh, thread I, I think this is um, I think these are M12 and this is M16 or so, I, I don't recall exactly uh, but essentially a Dodge shifter yeah, it'll get bound up on there. It won't screw on. The benefit, or the, the reason why somebody would even attempt to do that is because, you know, a Dodge spec square top shifter is something like a hundred and whatever dollars. It's, it's, it's a lot. This is a, like I said, it's a GM application. Uh, this is $35. I have no idea why. <laughs> it seems to be the same construction. Um, so this is part number 334625A. You can get them at TPD. Torquing, uh, Transstar. Uh, Transstar is typically where we get it because we have a just right down the you know down the road in town. Um, Thirty-five bucks, and they have them in stock. Um, so we, we like using these. You'll end up doing is just taking a shift tower spacer, putting it under here, and then using the the hardware and the and the spacers. It goes down inside exactly like the same as a as a as a factory square top for a Dodge. The only thing that's different is the shift uh, the threads on the actual shifter that'll save you 100 bucks or so you know right then and there and it's the exact same shifter it works just fine just a different thread pitch so what we do what our application is when we sell a transmission to somebody um, you know I don't want to upcharge a customer a whole bunch you know I don't know what I would even have to charge to, to source all the Dodge stuff if you could find it and then sell it to a customer so what we do is we outfit our newly converted top covers with these shifters and then we go to advanced adapters. Now advanced adapters sells a GM spec NV4500 shifter here. This is like $66 and what you get is this heavy billet steel adapter, the nut, the threaded rod which is solid and then a little threaded adapter and then um, when you order it from Advanced Adapters, if you uh, if you order it as an assembly, you get a, a shift knob too. I'm not a huge fan of the shift knobs. Cool part is though is that it's it's threaded in M10 by 1.5, so you can source a knob from anywhere. Whatever shift you know, you can get a cool like Hurst knob. You can get a you know Cummins Power one. I, I have one of those in my truck. Um, but so you got so you got options up there. So you can get one that says five speed, six speed, whatever the heck you want. The benefit to this, obviously, besides it being $66, it's substantially cheaper than a, a new Mopar version of these. You know, th these get expensive. But this sucker is really light. It works, it flexes, it isolates a lot of noise. It's, this is a really good factory option. Um, but with this being so freaking heavy, this really smooths out and cleans up the shift feel like a ton. I was super impressed with these when I, um, when I finally put one on my truck. 
I didn't think it was going to actually do anything for the shift quality, but you know, once I unboxed it, I was like, wow, this is substantially weighted. It's all solid billet. It's much heavy, much heavier, much harder. Um, and the added weight uh, really helps the throw. Like I was, I was really surprised. I, I thought it was cool. It is slightly shorter, so you, you lose about an inch of leverage. But for some reason, with the weight, it it makes it feel cleaner and tighter. I really like. I I love these. So when we sell these to a customer, like if somebody wants to convert to a square top, or if they need replacement on this, we'll just do the square top thing. You buy a GM spec shifter here for $35, advanced adapters shift rod here with all the things and you get a shifter too. You're into this like 115 bucks and it ships way better than a factory setup. It ships way better than a factory round top. And the, you know, if your shifter wears out, you replace it for 35 bucks. Every time that this thing wears out, you don't gotta have your top cover rebuilt. And it feels so much better because of this big ass heavy rod. You can also periodically, when you change your oil, or whatever, you can swap these out. That um, you know, these are just a couple bucks at you know, fuck, Franstar or whatever supplier that you you prefer. That'll also help tighten it up a little bit. So yeah, that's what we do. I just wanted to share this little tip. I'm going to be doing a video about actually how to convert a round top to a square top. Um, actually show how it's done and what parts are necessary. Just for the shifter portion. Shifter part number 334625A is the GM. 334625, I believe, with, without the A identifier at the end. Uh, I believe that is the Dodge spec one. You make sure to add the A and you'll get the GM threaded rod, which is like way, way cheaper. So then you'll go on to um, advanced adapters, get the GM NV4500 shift lever to match the GM thread. So you have this assembly here for 100 and, 100 and some change. Now, for those of you that already have a Dodge shift um, shift tower here, awesome. I mean, I would still suggest swapping this out, but you can actually get this same exact configuration from advanced adapters uh, with a Dodge adapter at the bottom. So if you have a Dodge shift tower, it'll come with a smaller threaded portion, and you can screw one of these right onto your Dodge shifter. Highly recommend. I'm a huge fan. The same Dodge shifter assembly for this will also fit onto a um, NV5600 shifter. So the NV5600, the, obviously the shifter mechanism itself looks quite a bit different. It looks, you know, like this. It's got this little isolate. It just, it's an entirely different shifter, but the this is a Dodge thread pattern right here. Uh, you can get this exact shifter with a new style, I think it's like, it's listed as like a 98 and up. Um, on Advanced Adapters website. And you could screw one of these on your 5600 shifter. I personally run one of these on mine, uh, and I love the improved shift feel. So you can check us out at www.lrgdiesel.com. Uh, you can call the shop here, 509-499-0760. Uh, yeah, if you got any questions, comment below. I'll try to link everything. Yeah, keep shifting, guys.